Hello and welcome to Hot Topics Wednesdays. We all know that it's very difficult to capture your audience's attention for a long period of time. And online, um, this situation is even more difficult because we don't have um, physical connection with our audience. We can't really engage with our body language, with our eyes, with facial expressions. So um, online presentations tend to be kind of uh, boring, monotonous, and they really disengage our learners as opposed to uh, attract their attention. So how to create killer online presentations? That's the hot topic for today. Well, I can talk about uh, different strategies for making your presentation more engaging and interesting online uh, for hours. Um, however, today I just want to share seven major tools, as I think, uh, that will help you create the wow factor in your presentations. So tool number one. Uh, it is kind of obvious, but uh, some uh, presenters uh, miss this information. It's to know your objectives and to state them to your audience. The audience needs to know why they're listening to you and what they will be able to know or to do at the end of your presentation. Tool number two, use reverse pyramid principle. What does it mean? is that in uh, a face-to-face -face presentation, we kind of like to start with the introduction and talk a little bit about general topics and then lead our audience to the main point. Well, online, we really don't have this luxury. Uh, the attention span is even shorter online than in a face-to-face -face, uh, context. So you need to start with the most important uh, point first and then expand upon it. Tool number three, use cognitive dissonance principle. What does it mean? Uh, often we are taught to create uh, a great presentation that you can have like five to seven bu bullets on our PowerPoint and they're all written with words. Well, forget about it. Um, what is really, what really will work is if you create, uh, if you come up with some images that from the first, you know, glimpse, you know, when then when the audience looks at it, they really don't understand why these two images, for example, are put together. But while you're talking, they will see the connection between them. So you want to constantly engage your learner. When they see something that doesn't make sense to them, they're going to pay more attention than as opposed to read your bullet and while you're talking, they already read it. So they're disengaged right away. Tool number four articulate learners needs throughout the presentation your learner always needs to know what it is in it for him or her from the beginning of the presentation during the presentation and at the end of the presentation tool number five create interaction even if you're creating a uh, presentation that will be provided as in an asynchronous environment so not at the same time and you can't really engage audience in a real-life conversation break your presentation make your audience do something let them um, think of a question or click a button or something like that uh, of course at the end of the presentation make sure that the learners are engaged in some form of discussion or reflective activity. So it's not just you talking to them for 20 minutes uh, without any interaction from their side. Tool number six, connect on the emotional level. Uh, you can read my previous blogs uh, about the way we fascinate others and about the role of emotions online. Uh, but I just very briefly will tell you again that uh, online environment is very emotional and uh, if you use learners emotions if you make them uh, if, you, if you provoke uh, some sort of curiosity or joy or even anger sometimes to a certain degree um, you will get their attention and you will uh, have this engagement that you want uh, for your presentation so 
don't forget that uh, you're not just a provider of information you are a relationship builder so emotions are very very important and powerful in the online context tool number seven if you do use the PowerPoint and use this screencast to capture it use 10 20 30 principle uh, is that is suggested by Guy Kawasaki um, he, he suggests that you need to have maximum 10 slides for 20 minutes and if you do use words use a 30 point font there are so many more strategies for creating an online presentation so what i would like for you to do now is in the comments below please share your strategies or maybe you can provide some links to some really killer presentations that you know or mention some killer presenters so all of us can uh, observe them and learn from them. If you like this uh, blog, please click like and share it with your friends uh, and colleagues on social networks. Uh, and if you're not on my list, come on over uh, so you can get free weekly updates and so you can also claim your free gift. So subscribe to my blog and um, conquer that distance.